Hello, hello, it's Maria. I'm a reporter here with WDW Magazine, here to take you on another magical escape. I am coming to you today from Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort, where Disney has invited us out for a round table discussion about their brand new private island in the Caribbean, Lighthouse Point. Disney Cruise Line will begin sailing to the new island on upcoming itineraries super soon, and we are very excited and very grateful to Disney. Thank you to Disney for inviting us out to this roundtable discussion today. I cannot wait to learn more about the island and hopefully get to taste some of the items that will be available for you to enjoy when you sail there. So without further ado, let's head to the event for Lighthouse Point. The Lighthouse Point Specialty Cold Brew. It is a Hawaiian cold brew with some coconut syrup and a delicious really thick looking cold foam on top here gotta taste the specialty coffee let's see what this is all about it's so pretty looking it looks really nice with that cold foam on top I'm actually gonna give it a little stir here so I can get all the flavors combined before I take a sip looks better let's try it Ooh, that is sweet if you like a sweeter version of a cold brew coffee this is definitely it for you that cold foam on top really gives it a creaminess that I don't normally expect from a cold brew coffee. Usually when you add cream or milk to a cold brew coffee, it doesn't make the mouth feel actually creamy, but this one really does. This is really tasty. I'm actually gonna go in for another sip here. Very sweet. You get the coffee at the very, very end, but if you're someone who likes sweeter coffee drinks, this one's definitely for you. Very tasty. Yeah. Story time. Yeah, we always start with once upon a time, right? So once upon a time there was cast a week, he and that island, the story behind it uh, from our imaginary friends is that everyone was kind of cast away on a deserted island in the middle of the Bahamas, right? So it's a very fictional place. It is one of the most beautiful places ever, right? Great day, fun, sun, wonderful things to do there. Different from that now is Disney Lookout Key, right, at Lighthouse Point, which is, as Joey has so wonderfully said, is a real place with real people and a real culture. It is truly about the Bahamas. There's nothing fictional really about it, right? So I think those, and again, stunning, beautiful, and it's, it's just different. As soon as you step on to look at Key, it just feels very, very different, but yet beautiful and wonderful all in the same way. So I think that guests can really dive in and become enriched in the making of culture at Lookout Key and still have like the best beach day ever at Castaway as well, right? Yeah. We just learned so much on the panel. Thank you again to Disney for inviting us out to this special preview panel about Lookout Key. And I wanna do a little recap about everything we learned. I wanna start with the entertainment. A huge focus of the panel today was about the brand new Rush junk and new experience. We got to see some brand new renderings for what those costumes will look like. We even got to see a small little performance of it here at Caribbean Beach, kind of a preview of what you can get on the island. But the really cool thing about that, not only are the costumes super authentic, made with paper and cardboard like they traditionally do in the Bahamas, but they will actually use Junkanoo performers from the Bahamas. They will drive to Lookout Key every single day and they will perform a Junkanoo for all of the guests on Disney Cruise Line. So it does not get more authentic than that. Disney is very proud to have partnered with these Bahamian performers. It is the first time ever that you will see anything like that on one of Disney's islands in the Bahamas. <laughs> Here is the rendering for the Junkanoo Rush Out, a brand new entertainment offering coming to Lookout Key. There you can see a look at the hand-drawn costumes, all Junkanoo inspired, very Bahamian inspired. You can see the instruments there. It's going to be a brand new piece of entertainment offering. also focused hugely on the idea of conservation. It is a natural Bahamian island, the island of Eleuthera, which is where Lighthouse Point will be, where it is right now, currently being constructed. And the really cool thing about that that they pointed out is they really worked to preserve all of the natural beauty of the island. For example, there is a bridge, the first of its kind in the Bahamas, that goes from the ship to the island. And what it does, it allows the guests to get from point A to point B while preserving the natural coral reefs that are very, very important to our ecosystem. They also pointed out that there'll be a sand sculpture experience where kids get to build a sand sculpture on the beach every single day. But at the end of that day, of course, after you get your photos, don't worry, you'll get your photo off. But after you get your photos, they will 
demolish them and kind of restore the beach to how it is naturally. They are not taking up a huge carbon footprint with this island. I know that all of the food and beverage items that they will be served on will be um, not single use, they will be reusable so that they will cut down on a lot of trash in that way as well. We are getting to preview some brand new never before seen renderings here today at the media preview. This is a look at the fun in the sun beach bash which is going to take place in the kids area of Lookout Key. The final new rendering we were treated to today is the official map of Lookout Key at Lighthouse Point. Down here you can see where the ship will dock. They actually built a bridge right there that protects the coral reefs. You get to walk over them to experience the island. There is the tram and bike path that will take you over to the main part of the island. It looks massive. It looks like so much fun. I cannot wait to experience it. And finally, we heard from the designer who designed all of the Disney character looks. He's the first Bahamian celebrity designer to design looks for Disney characters. And he was largely inspired by two things, the spirit of the Bahamian Islands and Junkanoo and the straw market. If you've ever been to Nassau, they have a large straw market there. It is a huge, huge, huge infrastructure in the Bahamas. And a lot of the characters you'll notice are wearing straw clothing items very inspired by that infrastructure, that industry in the Bahamas. And you will also notice the colors that the characters are wearing. They are very bright, they are very island inspired. And again, that goes back to drawing on inspiration from natural Bahamian culture and the spirit and the excitement and the colors of Junkanoo. Right here we have the Lighthouse Point Specialty Alcoholic Beverage. It includes Gosling's Rum and the famous Dole with pineapple. This will be a cocktail exclusive to the brand new island. That cute little pineapple garnish on there. I was expecting to like this, but I was not expecting to like it as much as I do. The Dole Whip flavor is definitely very predominant. I love Dole Whip. It's very pineapple forward, but you can taste the rum. The rum really does come through. It's not too much. It's not overpowering. It's actually a really great balance. It cuts down a tiny bit on the sweetness of the pineapple from the Dole Whip, and you get that nice slight burn from the Caribbean rum that is in this. I can sip on this all day long and definitely will when I visit Lighthouse Point, man. Very tasty. The non-alcoholic specialty drink option. I was expecting to be very sweet. I did give it a little stir because it's a little bit separated, but the tea really comes through, and I thought this was going to be really sweet again like I thought with the pineapple drink and it's not the tea really cuts it it's refreshing it's served over ice so it's very cold I can imagine as you're walking out onto Lookout Key it's gonna be probably warm when you visit so this is a really nice refreshing option and I have taken several sips of this I don't have a blue tongue I'm all good to go it did leave a little sparkle in my mouth but didn't stain my teeth didn't stain anything like that so if you are concerned about that no worries, you're good to go, no staining, and yeah, very refreshing and not too sweet on this one. I think this one will probably be popular with the kiddos. While I make my way to preview the brand new merchandise, tune in from a word from my friends over at WDW Magazine. Subscribe to WDW Magazine and escape to Walt Disney World every single month. This large format glossy magazine is filled with content, not ads. Subscribe now and don't miss another month of magic. Here is a preview of some of the merchandise that will be available on the brand new island. You've got three differently colored t-shirts there in the front, as well as some more down the bottom there, right next to the pins here in the case. These will be exclusive to the island. And way in the back there, there is a spirit jersey, as well as one of the new lounge flies that you'll be able to grab there. And in case you missed it, there is a new set of ears right up there as well. Very nice island vibes here. Bright colors for men's and women's apparel here. Really cool and check it out if you zoom in on both the men's shirt there and the women's dress. They do have the DCL logo and I mean these are my favorite down here already. Mickey and Minnie plush. Look at them in their new outfits. They've got the DCL logo on their feet. I already want them. That is going to do it for me here today at Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort for the preview of Lighthouse Point. Leave us a comment. Let us know. Do you have a sailing booked to Lighthouse Point that you are looking forward to after learning about it more? Do you want to book a sailing there? Leave us a comment down below and let us know. We want to hear your thoughts and what your plans are. Thanks again for watching, everyone. My name is Maria, and I will see you in the next Magical Escape.